with the Travis Kelsey touchdown. Where do you fall on the camp of the first drive of overtime touchdown ends the game without the other team getting an opportunity and winning the coin toss, as Andy Reid said last night, means so much in that setting? Play defense, right? I mean, you know, you have Brandon Staley, who is a head coach that was the the defensive coordinator of the top defense in the league last year. You've got really good players like Joey Bosa. I know Derwin James was not out there for that drive, you know, but like play defense. You know, you have opportunities to tackle Travis Kelsey. And I realize that he is a great athlete who is also hailing from the suburbs of Cleveland, Ohio, just like myself. And it's hard to get him down, but you know, there is not just one phase of this game. I don't like the way they do it in college where, you know, you start playing at the 25 and everybody gets a chance and it's this and it's that. It's like it's a different sport. You know, there's more than one phase to this thing. So if you want to get the ball back, then you got to stop them on defense. So you know, just play defense. And they weren't able to do it. And so that's why the Chiefs were able to go down there and score so easily. The problem I have with it is with the rules skewed so heavily toward offense as the years have gone by, they introduced the true sudden death overtime back in 1974. All it took was a field goal. That lasted for 35 years. It wasn't until the 2009 NFC Championship when the Saints win the toss. They get a couple of questionable calls. They get a couple of first downs. You got these field goal kickers with howitzers now that can make 50-plus yarders. It's a lot easier to do the walk-off three-point winner, so they got rid of it. And they came up with this hybrid thing where, well, if it's a field goal on the first drive, the other team gets a chance to match or beat it. We saw that happen just five days ago in Cincinnati when the 49ers matched and beat the uh, first drive field goal that the Bengals scored in overtime. So I, I, I think that there should be an opportunity always to match what the, uh, the, the team does. And I've got different ideas for overtime, and we, we don't have the time to get into it today. I, I like thinking of ways to make – the overtime exciting to make it memorable to make it fair i ultimately want it to be fair and the problem is anytime you start going beyond the full 60 minutes you know you've got all sorts of balancing interests involved including not having guys play another 100 and, or another 60 minutes and making it a 120 minute game i mean there's a point where it has to end so uh, I, I just I hate seeing it happen i hated seeing it happen to the chiefs in the afc championship game in 2018 when the winning of the coin toss fueled the Patriots drive down the field and kept Patrick Mahomes on the sidelines. I didn't like that. I didn't like Justin Herbert on the sidelines last night. There's got to be a better solution that is more fair than having so much of the game come down to so random of an act. That's the problem I have with it. If there was some objective basis, and I, I'm, not, I'm not advocating this, Twitter, go easy, oh but even something like, whoever had the most net yards, whoever had the fewest turnovers. I mean, that's at least rooted in what you've done in the first 60 minutes of the game and not just we're going to throw this piece of metal in the air and which side it happens to land on is going to give one team or the other a dramatic advantage in potentially winning the game. I just don't like that. So you, well, you would maybe advocate for yards that you had in regulation being one of the determining factors that would get you the ball in overtime first? That I'm saying I'm not advocating for it. Why are you doing this okay, to me? I'm saying idea. that it's an idea. It's a talking sorry, point. Sorry. And I think I'm I remember. Sorry. I shouldn't have said advocating. You, you are presenting the idea I'm, of a solution. I'm for discussion purposes. Be. For discussion okay. purposes. Something that is – more fair and more reflective of what's transpired during the 60 minutes that we just watched, then we are going to take this round disc and I am going to fling it upward with my thumb and we're going to watch it spin and strike the ground and whichever side it lands on facing up, not facing down, facing up, that's going to determine who gets the ball to start over time. I just don't like that. I think there should be some other way that is a little more fair. I think the process itself of playing overtime should be more fair. I just don't think it's fair. To, and, and the play defense thing may have worked in the 70s, long before you were born, but it doesn't work today because the rules are so skewed. 
I mean, what if we would have had one of these nothing the passer calls last night to give the Chiefs 15 yards of free field position? They happen all the time. There could have been somebody may have breathed the wrong way on Patrick Mahomes and they had thrown a flag and you get 15 yards and it's easier to get that touchdown and win the game. I know it didn't happen, but it's just an example of the way that the rules are skewed toward offense. So the play defense, the get off my lawn, I don't like single digit numbers, just play defense attitude that you surprisingly and ironically would advocate since you're the young one on the show. I reject that in today's NFL. I mean, I understand why people would want to see both Justin Herbert and uh, Patrick Mahomes go back and forth with it in overtime. But I mean, in order to win the game, then, you know, if the Chargers were to get a rebuttal, then the Chiefs would still have to play defense too, right? So I just, I don't know. I, I just feel like at some point you have to say, well, this is the way the game is structured. You know, the Chargers could have done any number of things to keep the Chiefs out of the end zone, whether it's sacking Patrick Mahomes, you know, putting a little bit better coverage on Tyreek Hill. I know that that's sometimes practically impossible. Bringing down Travis Kelsey to make sure that they had to settle for a field goal instead of just letting Travis Kelsey kind of waltz into the end zone while he's waving the football like this. Like, there's just so many different ways that yet you can bring them down and at least try to make them do something different. I I just, I don't know. I I know it's not the most fair thing in the world, but it really doesn't bother me, I guess, as much as it does you and other people and folks on Twitter and all that, that this is the way the overtime rules are. Because it's just, it's the the sport. I, I still think that because it resembles the game that we've watched for the last, you know, 60 minutes of play, uh, that it's fu- it's not great, but it's at least fine. And so I'm saying, like, I like that better than what they do in college because that's not the same sport. This is at least the same sport when you're playing it in OT. I'm glad to know that your standards are at that level, that very high bar of it's fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> what do you this think I keep fine. doing the show with you? It's fine. <laughs> no, <just> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That, that, that's that that well, that will be fine. Now, okay. I have one idea. By the way, I have, I, you know, when when, Kel, when Travis Kelsey's doing that, it's kind of the old school. They used to do that a long time ago yeah. where you'd run into the end zone like that. Just be careful you don't do that in the direction of an opponent or they're going to flag you for taunting. That's I hadn't true. thought of that until just now. Wouldn't have mattered last night. Game's over. And they don't take the touchdown off the board for in-play taunting like they do in college. But you got to be careful when you're waving that ball around. Any other guys who saw it and say, I'm going to copy that move, just don't stick it in someone's face because that's how you end up getting yourself a taunting flag. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.